Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video the 6480 is back in for repairs to be fixed. It's a never ending stream of content with this tractor of it being fixed but hopefully this time we get a bit longer out of it than the last. But anyways, so what is wrong with the 6480? Lee is in the middle of taking apart. The damper plate is gone so I was drawn sorry with it and literally just at the front of the house couldn't have been a better place to break down just pulled out a crossroads, lost everything. And there was squealing and all that. We knew the damper plate was going, so the damper plate has gone. So the damper plate is basically in there. You would have seen an old video of us changing, a hand, changing one on a 6270. So it's the same job here. While we're in that far, because the whole tractor has to be split front from back, we'll hopefully try and get the crankshaft sealed done and maybe the, inject, the, the pump. We'll just send it away, say nothing. But um, it's a big job to do this because this has loader brackets. She's not only is she tied front to back with its own bolts, but it's also tied with the loader bracket front to back. And the diesel tank has to come off too, doesn't it? You don't know yet. We do have rails for splitting and everything, but it's just a big job. And first job is stripping it down there and then getting her washed and then because we're at a point in the 1200 where we're waiting on some pipe work we're going to be able to get her washed and then roll her back into the shed we've taken down our paint and scaffolding but we'll have space to just roll her in be able to work on it hopefully get her out in two or three days while we're getting pipe sorted for that before we go any further but yeah that's the crack we get her fixed and we'll get back using it i'm going off to feed her trailer and look after cattle so i leave lee and father phil washing this and getting her into the shed but enjoys the machinery back in just about to go off fencing so just said I'd check in and see how they're getting on so just taking off the exhaust yeah you give me a hand here for a minute yeah how's the exhaust looking now near wore out is it or is it how high are you up well you can feel it you can feel it when you take the weight off the bed feel that yeah Did it shear? No, I just took the threads clean off it. Took the threads off it? Yeah. Gonna fall down now, out of the air. I don't know what's gonna do. Not very much to it, just yet. Oh. Yeah, keep turning it up. And you add the joint behind the loader bracket, took out. Oh, so it's coming off. Just keep giving it a wee wiggle to see loose. Just like that the exhaust is off. So it's all to get hat in there. That's where she has to be split. Everything from that line there has to come forward. And the problem is the loader bracket joins the front to back. I'm right, that's the bell housing there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what the diesel tank looks like when it's out. So it definitely looks different without the diesel tank and the steps on it. Get an idea this side of the loader bracket. So it's all from the front there to this. Well, you, all you'll have to do is just drop down this plate here, is it? Yeah, Aye, but there's bolts on the bottom here, this back rail that runs to the back. Yeah, that's Four bolts and... That splits. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was a solid oh, rail from front to back. So there's three bolts here and then two bolts here. Yeah. And then that front loader bracket should lift off. Then obviously your one's in the front. So well, you front take, do you take it off altogether or can you not just slide all forward with it? Probably just quick take it off. Yeah. Oh, because you have to get in at the yeah. what's behind them. There's, there's one here. Yeah. And then there's the big mass one here. Yeah. One straight through. That's right. It's hard gosh. Yeah. Oh, you never. You'd never, oh, you'd never, you'd never, you'd never get the badge because it's a big mass. Yeah. Right. I go do a bit of fencing. Yeah. Maybe it's it's it. never bold. Once 
and now the 64A is in the shed. When was the last time we had a tractor in the shed that needed to be repaired, one of the everyday tractors? <laughs> Usually everything gets done outside the workshop door. But now we're inside and we have two tractors, well there's actually one, two, three, four tractors in the workshop. But So Lee has it fully stripped now, it is quite literally just a matter of start her off and then the line of bolts around. I think he's everything else off. <laughs> well sure we'll find out shortly. So loader brackets, everything off. Looks quite bare when all is off. So just have to go get the bogey and the rail and then get her jacked up and out. At least you can actually walk out of the no loader on. Yeah. No loader on the diesel tank makes some difference. Oh, it makes some difference. We have a step up into it though. <coughs> <It's the best. laughs> While Lee is opening bolts on the round, <coughs> I'm trying to split pipes. I have yeah, a there. connections. Uh, socket. Am I? Yeah, I have 13 sockets, yeah. Play a small one. Yep, they will. So, I have these electrical fittings gone. So they'll split, actually. That. <sighs> <sighs> Huh? Where's the? Where yeah, 13 spots. At the bench, right. Let's have another. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Have you used that over have you? have to figure out where that comes off. You're not listening to me, are you? That's the headlights. Hello? Sorry? You're not listening to me, are you? No. You're just having an there? Yeah. <sighs> So I'm going to try to take off the ECU connection here. Okay, that's the ECU there. That's the connection between the <coughs> cab and that. <coughs> Three seven mil studs on it. Holds it on a bracket. But there's no clip that I can see to separate that from that. Which is where it has to separate. But it's not just separating. <coughs> yeah, going slightly mad. Right. What about the radiator? Take uh, the heater. Take the heater. Take that off. Yeah, you want to drain the fluid over. So yeah, that's the Progress. current oh, predicament. Oh, oh, oh. So, just have connect disconnected aircon radiator steering. Pull the diesel pipes back, and Lee knows what he's doing. There's an Allen key holds the connector together. I say he has it out. So what's left? Just wherever that loom goes. Yeah, I think I may just pull that loom like that. I should give enough space that's, then. That's going to give us enough, I think. Yeah. No need a foot. Just to get in and get how we can. That's really it then. That's everything. I think so. That's everything disconnected now. Now, yes, we have is the bogey for the rail. Belongs to a cousin. And Father Phil can't remember whether we had it last or he had it. So, let's go try and get him in the morning and see if he has it. If he, doesn't have a we're gonna make one that's it for another night hopefully tomorrow it'll be split back together <laughs> currently the weather is very meh i have to go back fencing now but before i go i want to see this split so lee has it all blocked up jacked up she's ready to rock and roll rail is in so it should just be a case of he says one more bolt and then she rolls away. See what it's like. That's always the fun here. As much as I probably should be here to make good content, there's other work has to be done. And it's divide and conquer. Liv is looking after calves. Father Phil and Leah are in here working at this. And I'm doing all the outside jobs. And that's not over exciting. It's more or less the same as what she's seen in the last couple of videos. Let me see what she's like when she splits. She's after blocking up the stopper so she won't sway when we get it off. You do both sides, yeah? Yeah. So he's just working on this last bolt here. There's two the other sides. Yeah, I know that. Well. Just been behind the filter housing. Yeah. It's just these two here now. It's ready now to see. Can we split the two apart? See if we can put the camera down somewhere. Oh, it's not really a pincher, like, isn't it? No, it's hard to stick it in. And... No. Just not, not prying apart like we thought it would. And there's bolts on the back there but in the back up here can you feel it yeah there's one this side on. no it's ahead uh, no, of enough no if you go on in a wee bit and and it, come to my side you can actually see it 
There's there's a bolt. This oh I I see what you mean. That could be holding the two halves together. Uh, is there a single? Yeah, there's a single nut up there. Yeah. See what the bottom one. Yeah. In there. Yeah. You think that could be holding the whole? Because there's two parts. You have we're splitting it on that line there. Yeah. And then you have another split in it there. It's like you're about to do multiple tractors, I would say. Yeah. I'm not sure. The adapter, Spacer. adapter from the transmission to bell housing. Yeah. You come in at the right time now. I'll see the steam raising now. No, what's up? It's only in the back there. That's not to the bell housing now. Because she's not. No, no prying is. When I when I split her at the bottom, she should come apart. You know, then I jack her up. It's the bolt. There's two bolts in a nut. It's the nut. Mm, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's the nut. It's for lining it up. Yeah. Easy now. Whoa, whoa. 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 Uh, come on. Why? Now the box is in there. Huh? What's up with you now? Whoa. Whoa. Have you got um, a bar there now? Oh, the pry bar. Pry board your foot there. There's them. Enough pine stuck in there. What's it? No stud left in it. No. That's stuff. But some of the studs must have fell out because oh, there's only two, there's only two of them wrong in it or three. <coughs> They have the tractor split, I just have the feeding done now. And as you can see by everything on the ground, springs and bolts, everything just fell out of it. So, Lee was saying there's no damage done on the inside. Father Phil's gone to get a brake cleaner just to clean it all up. And the dampener plate is here, so this is what's gotten. And as you can see, completely, completely gone. And how the damper plate works, if I get this right, is the damper plate takes the shock of the drive going from the engine into the transmission. The springs sit in between here, and it's one shaft drives into it, then the springs take the shock and power the other plate, which then takes the output into the transmission. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Ha. I can Google last night. No, I'm not just that useless. So that's how the dampener plate works. It's just to take the shock out. But when all the springs go, then the two plates run independent and you have lost all drive to the back, which well, leaves you with nothing. more than just springs. Why the springs, bolts? All, all the bars fell out bar three. Yeah. And three of them rung off. There's one of them there. Had to, yeah. cut, had to cut a wee slit and that and take it out with a screwdriver. Yeah. The rest of them come out of my fingers. And he's going to get new burns too. And that burns shook yeah, anyway. Shook on it. Yeah, that's what the dampener plate. That is what was wrong and had her left. <coughs> it's only what two weeks broke. Three weeks, oh, two, two three weeks. weeks yeah. So she didn't just wait as long as the last time it broke oh. down. So um, anyways, to get that done and then while the loader brackets are off, go and tackle the crankshaft seal. Um, in case we have to move to take the tombstone off, it's just easy done now while the brackets is off. And then the pump then as well, if we can convince... Has he convinced to do it yet? No. <laughs> do another bit, and um, yeah, so you're kind of just waiting for him to come back now. Uh, no, I'm going to make the plate for the bottom of this pump. The extra bracket, the back of it. Oh, okay. It's never done yet. So. Oh, I to keep the pump from falling off like it done last time. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the back of it. Right, I'll leave so, you to it. Father Phil is back. He tipped up to Connor. He's getting bits for the 1200 and got the new damper plate, which he has in. So you're going to have to bear with me now. So you can see how it should look. 
springs all in. And then, where did Lee? You had the doll pit. That's what the doll pit looked like. She's ready now to roll back together. Happy days. You're right now. I'm right. Yeah. That camera now is going to fall. No, it's not. Yes, the tire doesn't move, does it? Well, it just shouldn't. You stopped. Oh, hold on. Go now. No. Oh, 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 oh. Push, push. Halfway in. Hello. <coughs> Are you going ahead? They line up the plate now, that's all. Pull, keep pressure on, keep pressure on. I was put in charge of putting back the starter when I was going to put back on the wires. I actually had them on and then I realised all oh, this blue corrosion. Turns out that the wire is frayed. How it isn't shortened or wasn't shortened, no idea. But we're just short connectors to rejoin the wires, so that's tomorrow's job. But starter's on and we have most things joined up. So the next job is we're going to be heading for the front crankshaft seal. So now that means taking out the water pump, taking out the radiators. Uh, Haven't decided yet. No. No, because <coughs> I took the radiator out of the 62 now to be fair. Yeah. Like maybe get away with pulling the fan. Pull the fan off. Uh, undo the bolts and just run her forward. Yeah. Might be enough. I think I took the fan out, we'll just get a bit more room possibly. Yeah. 62. <coughs> So just draining the coolant out of the radiator <coughs> and out of the water pump. So the water also, um, we were talking to Murphy's to see about our power problem. And he says it could be to do with the timing of the pump because it's not behaving like a pump that has a problem. It's behaving like a pump that's not just in time. Yeah, it's something along them lines. So. To change the timing, the water pump has to come off so that you can get into the timing gears. Yep. And then it's a matter of a mill this way or a mill that way and start it. And you know, there's three, I think, remember there's three bolts on a slot for yeah. advancing your timing. So maybe advance too far, <coughs> you turn back a wee bit, so maybe think she's off timing. So, try that and see how it goes. So yeah, that um, has to be done, so we're getting, getting there slowly now. It's just a, a right pain in the hole of a tractor to work on. Anyways, Father Phil's put on the manifold on the <coughs> 1200 there. So, that's the water pump off. That's it half there. Again for the um, second time? Third time? So, third time maybe? Third time. So you can see, try and get where I can actually see it. So you can see the time and cover. <coughs> so that's what you're setting. Yeah. You can see the you can see the slots in it. So it's a matter of just rocking that back. Touch. A mill or two. Mm -hmm. Did we get dimensions off them? Yeah, or we have stuff caught, yeah. We'll have stuff caught, so we'll be able to hopefully get it set up right. And then it's a matter of starting to see this error code stay there and see what she's she's running like. She's running with an error code and down in power. So 1077. 1077. But she's not from what Murphy was saying, she's not doing what a pump that's knackered would do. Well, they just get, generally get that very hard start. Hard start, it doesn't do that little brrrr when it turns off and something else. So, that's why we think she'll be wrong, hopefully. It's not hard start. Yeah, ho it's, oh, it's not hard start. Hopefully this solves that problem and gets us back up to, to proper power. And then the front crankshaft seal has to be done then next. So... Yeah. The joys of a tier 264A. You're going to make a film on that. <laughs> There's a video now anyways. It's the second video of fixing the in less than a year. And that's as far as we've got with the 64A now. As you would have seen in the last video, the next job is to take the front tombstone off, split her, 
rotor forward so we can take the timing cover off so then we can get her all timed up right we do the front crankshaft seal and all that when we get that far and then start putting it back together but we're going to leave that for another video i put all the footage on the laptop last night and there's over 50 minutes so i think there's plenty if i don't put it together now it could be a very long video but anyways that's the crack with the tractor one problem fixed two more to go and hopefully setting the timing up right on this solves our underpower issues and it's not the pump so if it's the pump it's gonna be expensive anyways we'll see how we go on but i hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck